today we'll be making vegetarian pasta la metrigiana. For this recipe, you'll need shiitake mushrooms, pasta, chili flakes, tomato paste, dry white wine, canned tomatoes, and Pecorino Romano cheese. And if you're new here, I'm Maggie, this is No Frills Kitchen, where I teach you how to cook with confidence, but nothing fancy required. The first step is to brown your mushrooms. As this is such a simple recipe with very few ingredients, it's super important that you don't cut corners on any of these steps, particularly when it comes to browning the mushrooms. Add a bit of olive oil to a large skillet, set over medium heat, and once the oil is shimmering, add some sliced shiitake mushrooms and season them generously with salt. Cook the mushrooms, stirring frequently, until they've reduced in size and are very crispy and brown. Keep in mind that this may take up to 15 minutes. You'll first notice them release a lot of moisture, then they'll reduce in size, the moisture will evaporate, and the mushrooms will begin to brown. Unlike in my vegetarian carbonara recipe where I omitted a guanciale stand in altogether, for this recipe I opted to use shiitake mushrooms as my guanciale-like ingredient. Once they are browned and crispy, it's astounding how similar the flavor is. And if you love delicious brown mushrooms, make sure to give this video a thumbs up! Once the mushrooms are very browned, remove them from the skillet and set aside until later. Now it's time to put your pasta on and we'll build the rest of the sauce while your pasta cooks. While your pasta is cooking, add some chili flakes and tomato paste to the same skillet in which you cooked the mushrooms. Cook this, stirring constantly, for about two minutes. Then pour in a bit of dry white wine over the chili and tomato paste mixture. Stir this and cook until it's well combined, the wine has reduced significantly and the strong alcoholic smell has dissipated. This will take a few minutes. Now add some crushed tomatoes. I like to crush whole peeled tomatoes by hand so you have a better control over the texture. Also, I find the whole variety are better quality and when there isn't much more to the sauce, it's important to use the best ingredients possible. Increase the heat to medium high, bring the sauce to a simmer and let it cook just until the pasta is finished cooking. Then using tongs, transfer the cooked pasta into the skillet. Make sure you reserve the cooking water because you will probably use it. Toss the pasta in the sauce until it's well coated. Then add a bit of pasta water if needed to adjust the consistency of the sauce. Add a bunch of grated Pecorino Romano cheese and toss the pasta in the sauce until it's thickened and cohesive, just another minute or two. Add some of the reserved pasta water to adjust the consistency of the sauce if you need it. Top the pasta with the crispy mushrooms and season generously with black pepper and more salt. Toss to incorporate the mushrooms into the pasta and serve immediately, topping with more cheese. All you need to do now is serve and dig in. If you liked this recipe, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next videos. Enjoy!